So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Polaroid transitions like this. So first of all, we've got this Yeet music video in our timeline and we're just going to go through and we're just going to screenshot bits of the video. So let's screenshot this one here. So come over to the camera, click it and then browse where you want to save it and then press OK. Head over to Photoshop now and we're going to open our Polaroid effect packs. You can pick these up on my website. Now they're really cheap and there's loads of different ones. As you can see, there's 23 different ones in here. I think I'm going to use this one for this. So once we've opened it, now we want to get our photos in. So here's a photo over here. And now we're going to drag this layer underneath like so and we're going to right click and create to a smart object so once you're happy with the placing of it we can go and we can create a mask or you can re-rasterize the layer i'm just going to re-rasterize the layer so we can delete it and then however way you want it you can just delete the other bits like so so now we just have heat in the polaroid i'm going to create the smart object again go up to filter camera roll. Now this is where you can make all your changes. So we're just going to adjust these now. We're going to make it slightly warmer to create that Polaroid effect. We're going to knock some contrast out, increase some highlights, decrease some shadows. We want the texture to come up and the clarity to come up. Bring up some vibrance and some saturation just to keep that effect. And we're going to sharpen the image just a little bit. Come down to effects and then we're going to add a lot, a lot of grain. So there we go, that's our effect on there. So if we click this icon here, you can see the before and after of it. So it, making it look that bit more like a Polaroid type effect. You can change the color, you can edit the photos however you want, but that's just how I like to do it in this effect. You can also write some writing down here at the bottom. So let's get some text, pull out a text box over the top and let's change, let's change the font to this one. And we're gonna create that black. So we're gonna just come over to color, create that black. And now this is the important bit for this. If you're doing text on the Polaroid, you want to right click over the blending options. You want to come down to this button here and press option to split. And then you want to drag so it blends into the background. So I think maybe one, one seven five is probably good here. So I'm going to create some other Polaroids in a minute. I'll come back once I finish them and then we'll show you how to do it in Premiere. So guys, once we have our Polaroids made, we're just going to import them to Premiere now. And then we're just going to drag them on the timeline our Polaroids and we're just going to shorten these down so we've got to pick which one we want in the middle of the frame so I'm happy with this one being at the start in the middle and then followed by the others go over to effects controls and then we're going to resize where this one's going to go so this one let's rotate this one I'm going to put that one behind and make it slightly smaller like so and then this one we're going to do the same we're going to drag it over bring it down I'm going to rotate down a little bit. So there we have our placement of our Polaroids. Now we just need to keyframe them so they match together. So here we have now just a simple, you can do it like a pyramid if you want, but I usually like doing it this way because the first Polaroid is like the main one. So people are focusing on the main one first. So as you can see, you have a super quick, and cool effect matches the video nicely but to add some more source to this we can bring some flashes in we can bring some speed in so what we can do is you can head over and we can create an adjustment layer and then we can drag it on our top little clip we can just shorten it a little bit and then what we can do is you can come over to effects and presets you can pick these speed transitions up on my website if you want i'm going to use number 10 and this transitions at the end of the clip you want it to start around about here when the first one happens so now it should look something like this so a super fast transition going on the background so these bring just a bit of fast energy so behind the clips so it gives it something going on so here's the final look so that looks really nice a bit more what you can do as well if you want to is you can add a flash to it. Let's go over to effects. I've got some presets, but I'll quickly show you how to do it. You want to type in brightness and contrast. Put that on there. Scroll down into your mid where you want the middle of the effect to start. So brightness, put it to 100. Contrast to about 40. Click your keyframes. Scroll back a little bit. Reset them. Same again here, a little bit in front. 
reset and then on this occasion we're not going to use any blur because our background's blurred but it should look something like this you can use it with so much stuff it looks really cool so guys that's the final look i hope you did enjoy these transitions and these effects if you do want to pick these up, remember head over to my website, you can pick them up. If you do end up picking them up, let me know what you think of them. Um, send me some videos of you using them in your videos and stuff. I'd love to repost them. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one.